Hey everyone and welcome back to the Diving Squid YouTube channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a 2D top-down controller in Unity. I'm going to start by making a new 2D sprite object and I'm going to use the square. You could keep yours as a square or you can import some art. I've already made a player. In the next episode we'll cover animations so just use whatever you want for now. I'm going to scale this to my required size and then we're going to get started. So first of all I'm going to add a 2D capsule collider component. You can add whatever collider that fits your sprite. I'll adjust this to fit the sprite how I like it and then I'm going to add a 2D rigid body. Make sure to change the body type from dynamic to kinematic and set the constraints to freeze rotation on the z-axis. Now I'm going to add a new component and I'm going to call this player movement. This will create a new C-sharp script inside of Visual Studio and open it up. First we need a variable to be able to control the player's speed so I'm going to create a public float called speed. Then I'm going to create a private rigid body 2D and I'm going to call this RB. Lastly, I'm going to create a private vector 2 and I'm going to call this move velocity. Now inside of our start function, we need to get our rigid body 2D by typing RB equals get component rigid body 2D. Now inside of our update function, we're going to start coding our player movement by typing vector 2 move input equals new vector 2 and then input dot get axis horizontal and we also need our input get axis vertical because we're getting both directions for top down movement. Using just get axis may seem unresponsive in our controls so I'm going to put a raw there so that it makes it more responsive. Then I'm going to type move velocity equals move input multiplied by speed. Now inside of our fixed update function we're going to get our player actually moving. So create this function and inside type rb.move position then inside our parenthesis, rb.position plus move velocity multiplied by time.fixed delta time. Save this script and head back into our Unity scene where we need to assign our speed a value. So I'm going to give it a value of 5, but you can adjust this how you like your player speed. Hit play to test this out and use your WASD keys and you'll see that our player moves smoothly around the scene. That's all for this short 2D top down controller tutorial. In the next episode, we'll look at animations. Thank you all for watching and thank you for all the support recently, even though I haven't posted in a while. Special thanks to my patrons. Bye.